Keeping more than 200,000 military and civilian coalition members from going hungry each day is a massive undertaking, one which food service professionals across Iraq take pride in accomplishing. Army Private Joseph Labutka takes us to a competition where these kitchen commandos got a chance to show off their skills. The stoves were hot and the knives were sharp on forward operating base Hammer. Three teams of food service specialists took part in a no-holds-barred Iron Chef competition. The competitors from Kellogg, Brown & Root, the Tamimi Corporation, and soldiers of the 3rd Heavy Brigade Combat Team, 3rd Infantry Division, were allowed to use any ingredient in the hammer dining facility to make a salad, sandwich, and dessert to determine who was the sledgehammer iron chef. Each team came up with unique dishes, adding a bit of their own culture to their creation. As the 60-minute competition ran down, the chefs rushed about the kitchens, finalizing each dish and adding decoration to their masterpiece, and awaited the judging. First time being a tester, so uh, it was kind of interesting. A lot of great different tastes. When you judge, you're actually looking for the uh, taste, texture, and me personally, I was looking for the food. <laughs> the day's competition was part of Coke Appreciation Day. Several workers from the Hammer Dining Facility were recognized for their hard work and dedication to the welfare and morale of soldiers. Today's uh, event was part of the Cook Appreciation Day. I wanted to honor all of the food service professionals, past, present, and future. And I also wanted to give the opportunity for these food service professionals to show their extreme talent by so doing an uh, Iron Chef competition today. Scoring two out of three categories, 3rd Brigade soldiers won the title of Iron Chef in the Hammer Brigade. Reporting from Ford Operating Base Hammer, Iraq, I'm Army Private First Class Joseph Labutka.